Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents The People's Cast. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. Pretty P. Oh, she done jumped. And only heavy duty cutie. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, quick fast on the draw, but we have a special guest this week. And what was your name again, my dear? Pretty P. Pretty P's in the building. And she's going to rock with us and see how she does. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we're going to get right to it. We got a pretty a pretty good show. You know, we're going to learn some things and we're going to do some things. So, ladies, ladies this time. And gentlemen, y'all ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. And we give it back to you. The people. Abortions. Who controls your body? That's what today's topic is. <laughs> the government right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's the question. That's the first question. Um, should the government and not just talking on a personal level. You can take it personal if you want, but for the overall good of the species, um, the country, the economy, should the government be able to tell you if you can or can't abort your child? You can bring it, you can yes. bring Jesus into it and all that other stuff. If they Ooh, pay for it, yeah. <laughs> good angle. Thank you. What what would uh, define them paying for it? Uh, yeah, I like don't know social how, benefits how and uh, I guess. Yeah, well, no, that's more insurance, right? Insurance would pay for that, but I'm assuming if you don't pay your bill, they collect. Somebody gotta pay for it, right? Don't some counties or, or local states pay for folks who don't pay their hospital bills to a certain amount? Um. Nah, they kind of just put keep it on you. <laughs> it just be on your credit. Say that again? I didn't hear Oh, set up a payment plan or something. I think that's what they would do. But I don't know if they... But I can... Hmm. I think normally you have to pay for them bills. Yeah. So are you? I was like, but what if it's like military then? The soldier get pregnant, she wants an abortion, then the government's still paying for it, right? Yeah, they probably. Do. Yeah, but I mean, you're still working for it and you're putting in on it. So, I mean, so insurance. you know, yeah, right. But now are you talking about just the actual act of, of the abortion? Or are you talking about uh, actually having the kid later and dealing with the if you don't have the abortion? Like, what do you mean the by paying for it? OK, the actual abortion. All yeah. right. So what if the government is not paying for it and the government is just saying, no, you can't have abortions, regardless if we pay for it or not. Pretty much like how Georgia is now. Should they have the right to be able to do that at any reason or any cost? Not if it's not costing them money. You know, they're, they're just going through the whole religious thing because we're in the Bible Belt. So due to the fact that we're in the Bible Belt, they put Christianity on top of that. It's like, oh, it's, I guess it's, it's a sin, yada, yada, yada. You know, to each their own. Not everyone are Christians. Not everyone Very true. In God. You know what I mean? That's that's unfair. Y'all feel the same way? I don't think they should tell me what I should do with my mind. But I think as women, we should do better, and the men should do better to where they would Agreed. even have to even make that choice because mm. <clears throat> we can't blame nobody but ourselves. You know, the Very true. and stuff like that. They have protection. They have things set in place for us to not even have that choice of aborting a baby or not. Mm -hmm. Unless something bad happened to that person. Yeah, but yeah, we like just, rape or something like that, yeah. God forbid. God forbid. We're just yeah. out there just carefully doing stuff and just going to the clinics. Yeah, I mean, come on now. You messing your body up. 
you know, we do have choices and responsibilities. So, we, but you know, now that you're allowing them to make that choice, now you're mad. Mm -hmm. You had options beforehand, and now, you know. right now. And you know, the way it stands in Georgia now, it doesn't matter rape or anything. You know, if you get raped after a certain month, you're not allowed to have abortions, period. It's literally against the law at this point. So, what is it, six weeks or something like that? It's something really short. It's either six or eight weeks or something. It's six weeks, which I don't know. Personally, I just think that's absolutely insane. Um, but, especially that <clears throat> they took away the, the uh, plan B, the pill, <clears throat> right? We can't get the plan B pill right. in Georgia anymore. Are you serious? So, I thought they could. You didn't know. Stay out of them bedrooms there, young one. No plan B. Well, there's always the other plan B. You know, just get your your uh, season pass to Six Flags. <laughs> 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 Or, or deal with comedian CJ Trials and just stand near some stair, some staircases. Because <laughs> <laughs> this thing gonna put you down the staircases every chance. Huh? <laughs> 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 Come on, Jesus, you feet. just bad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I you see a woman bleep. use a hanger. <laughs> she just gonna roll the root of the shit. Just, yeah, like a metal hanger. Just, <laughs> yeah. just yeah. dig it out. That's how it used to be back in the days, in the nineties, yeah. the eighties. You hit the hanger, go. You just, you just gonna snake it out, huh? You just it out. Yeah. Make scrambled eggs, Imagine, huh? Fuck you, it. Now you can put like a little iPhone on it, and then you can. Just pull it <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, oh my no. God! Oh, wow. Sonogram my ass. Let me see. Oh, there he is. <laughs> 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 Fuck that. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> wow. Okay, so let me ask you this: Should the baby daddy have the right to tell you if you can and can't abort? If the government had nothing to do with it, now he don't put in half on it. Yep. Mmm. The plot thickens. I feel like. He has an opinion, but the final choice is mine. I could try to hear him out. Oh, let me go. Let me go. You know, you just threw an eye you, right? <laughs> All right, heavy duty. Go ahead and jump on that one, dog. <laughs> oh, he already got their hands together. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> I understand your point of view that it's your body, your choice. But do you not see it unfair if the male disagrees with it, say, no, let's abort, abortion all the way. You still yeah. say yes, but, uh, you, well, oh, but you ask for child support. Mm. How is that fair? Mm. No, I was about to say, um, if a man tell me he don't want the baby, I don't want it either. I'm not about to keep something you don't even want. <laughs> mm. Quite enlightened. But convinced, but what if you get convinced by your, you know, mom and grandparents? Oh, this is the first grandbaby from our family. Yada yada yada. Yeah, no, I don't He's care. Okay, I'll have it. <laughs> I already mm. told um Bear <laughs> that I do not like Damn. want the baby. No daddy king no more. Just um Bear. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> I don't want wow. baby. Um Bear in the building. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't want to be daddy drama. So, mm. if you don't want it, I don't want it. Wow. Okay, so... The show, okay? Mm? Same question that I just offered you. Sorry, uh, King Bear. Oh, no worries. Well, I'll have to see what we are in a relationship. If we just fooling around and stuff like that, and this just it just happened, then I'm going to just happen to not have it. But... Okay. If... if um, <laughs> But if we on a different level and you know, I see he, he can be a potential father or something like that, I would probably take it into consideration. But it would be out his But what if what if he said I don't want it? I already have twelve kids, right? <laughs> <laughs> then that's yeah. not a potential. <laughs> no, we gonna have that you know what I would not be number thirteen with no no, okay. I won't do it. What if he has none but you see him as a potential? 
But he's like, the reason why I don't have none is because I never wanted kids. So I don't want this Ooh. one either. Oh, nice. Have it. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm but not, you're, you're I'm speaking on, on the point baby. that you already have right. kids. Yeah. What if it's your first child? My first child, and he don't want. I yeah. couldn't do it because I'm not raising a baby by myself. Yeah, I mm. didn't. I didn't want to do that. So I mean, it's sad but true. But no. Mm -mm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do you see? Do, do you see it's fair in the point that me and you know the Atlanta, you know Barbie over here were just discussing. <laughs> When it came, when it came to if the if the female says it's my body my choice keeps the child, but yet the father said I never wanted the child. Is it right to put that father on child support? No. In your opinion. No. Well, then who's going to pay for the child? decided to have the baby right without <coughs> even knowing that he didn't let's see that's where you go back to being careless <laughs> you know you very true to, but but very true that's my point you know what i mean that, that's messed up right if i said no i don't want no kids you well, know you should have been then what you doing nothing inside of it you should have done it in there to prevent Bro, that from happening world-class ski shooter uh uh boom <laughs> so, I mean, just think about it for real. If you was adamant on not kids having kids, you, yeah, you would have put yourself in that predicament. Right. right. Like Snoop I said, drunk. I ain't never been that drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, what that? Yeah, that would be something that you have to be. That would be on you. Yeah. And if she decided to keep it or not, it, I mean, the argument went out the door and you did it unprotected. Yeah. So, and of course, we're talking perfect world because the government's already jumped in and, and screwed the pooch on this whole thing because they literally made it one person's decision, although it was two people messing up. So, all right. So, <clears throat> so, um, what if it was the other way? What if you didn't want the kid, but the baby daddy was like, Oh, this is gonna be my first kid. I so want the kid so bad. Are you gonna be that villain in your villain era to say, eh, hey, fuck that, I'm out. <laughs> and jab the coat hanger up in there. Yeah, um, <laughs> Are you gonna scramble an egg? Yeah. Are you gonna go to Six Flags and ride the Goliath? <laughs> Until and your stomach hurt. Batman, yeah. <laughs> 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 Reverse Batman. Uh, fuck this. <laughs> we gonna take care of this shit today. Jesus. Wow. He gonna be sitting there mad as shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm, no, I'm too young. If that happens, like in the next year, a situation like this, I'm not. I'm not keeping it. I'm not. <laughs> what if the baby's strong and then like it don't even work? Like he dodged in a coat hanger. <laughs> he liked the rides. Oh my god. And then he, and then he, he come out he come out with the special needs and he had that special needs voice. Oh, Do we all know the special needs voice? Nope. No, I don't know that voice. You don't know the voice? So your baby come out, he be like <laughs> He oh. come out saying, "Don't do it! Don't do it! I, don't do it! <laughs> don't do it!" Yes, they're not gonna be honest. <laughs> he can't even get out. He come out saying, "Mommy, I'm thirsty. I want the milk." <laughs> that, He's gone. That's what, that's what I'm telling you. Oh my god. <laughs> I do not condone this. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Leave it to bear. Oh, oh. I've been waiting on that one so long. So long. Y'all yeah. done kept me from doing that for no. so long. You didn't have to do it. <laughs> you didn't have to do it. Every dude in a blank. Yeah, yeah. He's gone. He's gone before you even finish the sentence. You know better. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, shit
laughing so hard. I'm not. Oh, I love that. Mm-mm. I love that. Oh, Jesus. Mommy, I want the meal on the Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're moving on. This is, why I advocate, this is why we should all advocate for anal sex. Right? <laughs> we, will never have this, we will never have this issue or this conversation. <laughs> Duke it in the booty, huh? Thank That's you. it. Ski, ski in the booty. <laughs> <laughs> never have an issue. Oh, my God. Whew. Okay. Thank you, guys. I'm, okay, now I move on. Mm. Okay. All right, so what if, um, say, <laughs> all right, should, well, you guys already kind of answered this one, but should child support be mandatory um, if one or the other parent decides to, to keep the kid? Say you didn't want it, he wants it, so you agree to have the kid, but He's going to take all parental rights and everything. But then he turns around and now he could come back for child support from you. Should child support be something that's allowed if one parent can come back and say that they never wanted the child? Like, should the government ever be able to step in and say, you got to pay for this kid? That should not be allowed. That's forcing it. That's forcing it on somebody. This yep. is true, but then there what should if, be a law. There huh? should be a law where there should be a law where either either party signs a form says, "I disagree with this birth of this child. I I redeem all responsibility of the child." Mm-hmm. Sign it off. Yeah, yeah. And both parties have to sign it. Mm-hmm. But what if the the Whichever, male or female, the emotional parents, like, I refuse to sign. Because at the end of the day, you can't make nobody sign it. Then so you walk next to the stairs. You're going to push the motherfucking down the stairs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, my God. What's, what's not a 10 years in D-block? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Say, that ain't nothing, huh? Oh, my God. I just think it's unfair to force somebody. Yeah. And if you want that, then you have, you know, I don't know, I will give you all rights to whatever, but don't put me on child support. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to do somebody else like that because it was my choice. Mm-hmm. But there again, you put yourself in a bad situation because mm-hmm. you could have prevented break those legs. Mm-hmm. So either one of them could have should have thought about it, but since you didn't, now you have to be on this chopping block of who gonna if you gonna do this, make this right decision for the both of us, or are you gonna be stuck with a kid? You know, taking care of it and who wants to do that <laughs> by yourself? That's no. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um what if the person that you get with is considerably much better off financially than you and they can afford it would you be willing to allow the baby to suffer when the other half of their genetic code could actually afford the baby a much better life so and and now all 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 things equal I'm, I'm ruling out the mamas or even the dads because some of them are like that the trifling mm-hmm. ones that want to take the money and buy for them i'm talking about just getting the money to make sure that the kid is taken care of because the custodial parent doesn't have the finances to do so so if they so wanted to keep the kid the right right but emotions flare up and you wanted to keep the baby you just you can't financially afford it, but you emotionally can afford it. You can't catch no check with no damn emotions. You can't buy milk off emotions for a baby. Hell so yeah. No. You sure as hell can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> you sure as hell can't. So, no. Emotions. Emotion. You set yourself Emotion up. don't mean shit. Yeah, but he could. 
but he didn't want the baby. Yeah. Right. So exactly. just because you emotionally want it and financially can't afford it, mm -hmm. why do yourself like that? Then you're trapping him purposely because mm -hmm. you're knowing that you're Whatever. trying to keep him. You will always right. kill him. And 18, it doesn't stop at 18. Trust me. Yep. <laughs> it goes forever. So. Man. It can't. It depends on what type of person you are. Because I got pretty good at. Nah, let me stop. Go ahead. Most kids come back. They always come back. Not if you have guns. With no permission. Not if you have guns. They can't she come back if they dodge bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Fair one, they'll come up in here. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. No, but I wouldn't. Don't do that. Don't trap somebody. Should have just thought about that in the beginning. Mm. I like the way Michelle thinks. I appreciate you, Michelle. If I was there, I'll hug you. <laughs> I mean, even Pretty P is nailing it. I'm like. And yeah. she's of that generation where, you know, she still got freaking like eggs with yolks in it. I don't know about Michelle Curry, but uh, she's. No. <laughs> 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 I'm fucking with you. I'm not. I'm an eggs with yolks. So you ain't even about it. No, sir. I am done. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man. All right. So let's fast forward a little bit. All right. So instead of the 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 kid that's not here, let's talk about the kids that are here. And the single parents that are out here with the kids with um government support. Regardless of what child support is, that they're getting from the parents. Since the government is giving the parents support, you know, uh, whatever it's called, you know, Medicare, Medicaid, all this stuff Wait. that they give, WIC, food stamps, all that stuff. Yeah. Because the government is basically stepping in and paying for it, should the government be able to tell a woman what she can and can't do with her family, both with the ones that are here and in the future if she wants to add to that family? Uh -huh. since, since they're paying for everything yeah since the government is big daddy now government is putting that much that change in your pocket sounds very dystopian <laughs> Ooh, big words <laughs> okay i hear you i hear you mm, I we're know. simple thinkers and i'm a crayon eater so <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> no i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> like, are you serious <laughs> <laughs> no 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 i'm playing um but go ahead, Michelle. You I you speaking. Oh, okay. I'm, no, I was just saying, like, I wouldn't want that government to have that much control over me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to, like, I'd probably mentally break down. <laughs> but you still want to accept the benefits? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't control me, but send a check. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's like an oxymoron, man. Right. You can't, you can't have one without the other, but you want this, but you want help too. I just think, no. If you want, I hated getting on government assistance. It was, mm -hmm. it was, I watched my mom go through it, and she always told me, you know, this is something that you don't want to live off of. Mm -hmm. People are living off yeah. of it instead of just having it to help you to kind of do better and not want to be on it like that. It's mm -hmm. crippling the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, they haven't. I supposed to work for DFACT over 10 years, and you see people coming in with four, five kids, three baby daddies, and they pregnant. And they in there talking mm -hmm. some, you know, well, I need this, y'all not doing that. And they like, are oh, you rough and hard on these baby daddies to make sure they doing their part? But no, you steady out there popping out babies. You want the government to give you, and the more babies you saying, the more money, then you selling the stamps, then you run out of food. Mm -hmm. It's just like a domino effect. So. Don't get mad at the government if they're now going to say, well, if you're going to do this, then you can't have as many kids. Because now you gave them that option because you're using their money, you're using their finances, you're on Section 8, you're doing all this other mm -hmm. stuff instead of just trying to say, I'm going to stop here and make something better of myself instead of popping out all these babies and go to work. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. But they're not doing that because 
the, the government is crippling them mm-hmm. because you know because it's easy access right they don't have to do much you you lose your job first thing they're going to do is i can go meet some food stamps and sit at home getting 500 dollars worth of stamps and now you don't want to go back to work yeah yeah so <laughs> so half of them you can't get mad if then they want to say well you can't have these many kids anymore you got to stop doing this and stuff like that then that's what you did hmm so should the government be able to put a cap on the Think on the caps and anyway. amen i'm with you on that one yeah yeah so many yep. kids. yeah it's either one or two yeah. and any more than that boy if you can financially take care of any more of that yeah but if you can't and you you got two kids and you finna go to the welfare office then you need to think about some things right you know so yeah i wouldn't mind them limiting that on that area I'm 100% with you. Heavy duty, what do you think? If the government is giving me money, then they have the right to say what they want to say. Regulate, you know, what to buy, what I can do. That's how I look at it. Because it's our tax dollars, right? People abuse it. Mm-hmm. It was, you know, when we were doing government assistance and giving money away. I remember growing up in the Bronx. And seeing people just getting pregnant just to get more money for the government, right? Mm-hmm. It was driving me insane while my parents are busting their butt, you know, <laughs> just, just, you know, we're a little restaurant and we barely making it, you know what I mean? And these fools coming in with food stamps, like, ah, let me get this, let me get that. And we're like, yo, y'all get more money than we do. We bust our ass for 13 hours, you know? Mm-hmm. But that's the part I don't care for at all. I believe in assisting people that really need help, mm-hmm. right? short term you know people right. coming out from the military let's help yep. them you know they serve yep. our country you know that there's mental illness let's help them but for you to have children and you don't want to have protection that's bullshit man yeah. why should i pay for your kids and that milk well I, my, my kid can't even eat rice because we can't afford it bullshit right i disagree with that. Yeah. okay and the young perspective what do you think <laughs> you gotta love the honesty. I know, you gotta I love it. She was like, "Yeah, okay, I hear y'all, but I, I can't even get mad at the honesty, dude." <laughs> but the money comes with restrictions, though, right? Mm-hmm. That's what. That was right now, it don't. You gonna have a lot of babies to keep the money, or you going no, just no? No, I just think um, like if I was a single mother with a child. I don't know, just heavily rely on it. But what would the baby daddy be? I don't know. That's why I don't want to have kids right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's about. either just not to pump them out. Yeah. That, that's pretty much the point. Okay. Yeah, I think it should be a system where, um, <clears throat> and maybe I just, I'm piggybacking off the, the military system, where the military has a cutoff. Um, The military will pay for They will give you additional funds Per kid But only up to a certain amount of kids I don't remember what the amount was I think it's either three or four So they'll give you Additional funds up to your fourth kid After that You're on your fucking own Like they'll still pay up to four But if you have eight They're only paying for four Like so You gotta make it work For the other kids you have Based on what they gave you for that So yeah. um, I think A system like that Would go a long way of weaning um, Our society Off of government aid To the point where we can You know after some years Reduce it to the point where It eventually goes away Because I really I'm like heavy duty on this one um, I gotta agree You know <clears throat> Our society is way too heavily reliant on free stuff and the government giving you stuff to the point yep. where a lot of people see having kids as a cash cow. So they'll run out here and get pregnant because they know Uncle Sam, regardless of what 
the baby daddy or the baby mama or whoever will do on their end, they know they can go to Uncle Sam and hit the taxpayer's dollar by, hey, I could get these food stamps, I could get, you know, the Medicare and the Medicaid for the kid, and I can have, you know, I have two, three thousand dollar check coming in, plus four or five hundred dollars worth of food stamps coming in, plus my baby will have medical coverage because, you know, every hard working American who is completely busting their ass has to pay taxes and they have to pay for my kids and oh look i don't have to pay taxes because it's already tax money that i'm i'm drawing this off of. or if they do it's very very low amounts that they got to pay back towards it some circumstances are different like my grandma she obviously can't work she just you know disabled and stuff and she right. has two young ones to look after so she needs the government you know she needs all those programs and stuff like that well, that's so a she, different story yeah well in that situation um and that's a, a different thing altogether but in my opinion um grandparents shouldn't be taking care of the kids and that's where i, I stand but on that things happen i I, yeah. I totally understand sometimes you know if something happens and the parents can't right i get it but if you have able-bodied parents right. and they ain't yeah. taking care of their kids yeah. that's yeah. the problem it's right. it's too quick for parents to pawn off their kids on their on their parents, mm -hmm. yep. and you see that a lot with uh, now millennials and the generations coming after millennials because Generation X and the baby boomers and the ones before us, we were taught how to take care of each other and raise our kids. Now, of course, there's exceptions to every rule. There's exceptions to every rule. There's People in the younger generations who know how to take care of their younger siblings or younger people. But it, when speaking in general terms, the younger ones don't know how to take care of things because they don't know how to take care of themselves. So it's a lot easier to look at mama who took care of me and be like, here, mama, I, I, I made this, but I need you to take care of this. So I could go back out in the streets and I might make another one and... Yeah, I need you to take care of this one too. Then I fought their yeah. grandparents. I want to go dancing uh, one night. Right. Their grandparents should do better. Right. Do now, and you know, like I say, and there has to be exceptions. There has to be. Mm -hmm. And in, like you said, in situations where there's no choice, right. and God forbid, there's a chance, there's a situation where a parent is has passed or is just not physically capable to take care of the yeah. kids and it has to go back on the grandparents then mm -hmm. and the grandparents are at an age where they physically you know they can't do it or they are retired they're no longer working or they're they're disabled to the point where they can't then yeah there should be something there for them but that's not the general thing that's happening a lot of times mm -hmm. is these lazy ass fucking parents who ain't taking care of their kids just because they don't feel like doing it. And they're able bodied people. Mm -hmm. The parents feed into it. Kids, if, they, if, if I knew I could have my, my mom raise my children, mm -hmm. I would have been left with my mom. I, mean, I wouldn't have thought twice about it because I know my mom would have been a good, she's, you know, a good provider. She's mm -hmm. a good structured person. So, but me knowing I'm responsible, I wasn't going to do that because that was not something my mom did. I had to suck it up and deal with it and not do it again and not keep on doing it, you know, so, but yeah. Um. Yeah, I hear you. Well, let me tell you something. So, my oldest uh, is in the Navy right now, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she she likes to say and she, I don't know if she's thinking it's going to get overruled or she thinks I'm joking, but I tell her on a regular, I ain't raising no motherfucking grandkids. In fact, I tell all my kids, I ain't raising no motherfucking grandkids. I like Universal too much. Fuck that. Now, how much that cost? <laughs> <laughs> That's an occasional thing. I told all my kids, yo, you got two weeks. I need you to raise your kids 50 weeks out the year, 50 weeks they're yours, two weeks they're mine. You can divide up that two weeks however you want. 
If that's a week out of the summer or if it's two weeks out of the summer, for those two weeks, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You don't got to bring them with food. Hell, you ain't even got to bring them with clothes. We'll take care of everything for that two weeks. But that's two weeks. It's two weeks. So don't even think you're going to drop off the kids six months later talking about, um, yeah, 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 that, um, here, here's some money because, um, yeah, I know it's been a while. And, uh, fuck that. You better figure the shit the fuck out. Cause no, I'm not. Don't leave us with the babies. It's not happening. It's not happening. I, no, no, I, I, I don't have it in me. I don't like kids no more. I don't like kids. Here's a thin line. Nah, fuck that. I don't like kids. I don't like kids. Like, even when I coached, I coached for years. I love coaching kids. But I can't fuck with kids under the age of eight. I'm just, I don't have the patience. Like, eight years old, I think it should be a legal limit for you to be able to curse kids out. Like, legally. Like, no, because at eight years old, at eight years old, kids could definitely know, okay, I'm cursed. An adult's cursing because they're just using curse words to get their point across, and they're not cursing at me to hurt my feelings. I think eight years old is about an age that they can distinguish between it. Because when I coach, like when I coach football, I used to curse at the kids at eight years old all the time, but the kids still love me because they know I wasn't cursing at them. Because I wouldn't look at him like you're a fucking idiot. Like I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but I would say, get the fucking lead out. Or come on, let's go. We got shit to do. They would know that that's not me cursing at them. That's me just. That's how I talk. You do that with a six year old, seven year old, <laughs> and you see the lip wavering and shit. Oh, coach, yeah. you know that me? I ain't got time for that. I'm I'm not good at that. I'm no good. I don't. I don't. I when kids are that young, I just kind of hey yeah hey. Uh-huh. But once they turn eight, yeah. Hey, yeah, I'll give the hugs. Come on over. You want to come on? Come on over. No problem. Eight years old is my. That's when I know kids can handle me. So anything below that, I can't deal with long term. I can't. I can't. Now my wife, she. Oh, we, we gonna have a battle on the hands when the grandkids get here, cause she already told the kids. Oh, just let me know they can come over whenever. No, 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 no. You gotta go over there with them. <laughs> you got, you, you got, you got. But that's fine. When they have them, I'm gonna go stay with them. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go visit you job. Me a favor. <laughs> I'm visit job. But no, uh, uh-uh. I can't. I can't deal with crying. I ain't doing no more formula. I ain't oh, doing diapers. Over again. Yeah, well, see, I, have I got two, two weeks worth of diapers. Two grandbabies. They're six months apart. So, boy. <laughs> Wait, you're a grandma? I know Michelle Kale is yeah. fabulous to be talking about something. Yeah. What do they call you? They call you no, Granny? No. What do they call you? Comes out your Nama. Mouth. Huh? Nama. Nama? I don't have no G. <laughs> don't call me nothing but Nama. a grand in a grandma. Nama. Yeah. Nama. Yeah. Tell the truth. I know what they I call you. <laughs> they call you mad, I'm done. Yeah. No, no, but I don't know. I can't. They, I don't watch them like that unless they at work. If you're mm-hmm. not working, don't bring them. Don't don't bring them to me. I know that's so right. I don't. I'm only doing it because you need me to keep them while you're working. But the little boy cries all the time. And I can't deal with the crying. Like, oh, no. it, it is annoying. So I don't keep him. Not a little girl. <laughs> Not my you, little you girl. don't tell the man up? You don't tell the man up? Mm, yeah, I do. But he's just on a different level because he's spoiled. So I just let him go with his dad. He, I don't know what's wrong with him, but I don't. I can't do the crying. <laughs> So, but, is, is he special? Is, 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 no, he's How not. old is he? He's handsome. He's he, handsome well, I mean, there's handsome no, special people. Special. Ben Affleck was special. handsome and special. He's not special. In the accountant? Yeah. He's not mental. He's, he's mental. Uh-huh. I like that. How old is he? Two. Two? Does he speak yet? Yeah, he talks. How's he talk? He like, Does he? Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't I'm do it. No, he don't talk like that. He just learned new words. <laughs> don't do my thing. Like how that. What, what, how no. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. I, <laughs> I can't. No. Continue. I'm sorry. 
I'm, no, I'm hold on, Michelle, okay. Who's related to you? The son or the daughter? Of the boy. Oh, of, of that child. My son. It's my son's little boy. So your son is related to you. Mm-hmm. That's your grandson mm-hmm. who's a boy, but he's soft. He's not soft. He just looks He's soft as that cut soft. lotion. <laughs> <laughs> so she feels responsible, so I get no. that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nice later. <laughs> 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 what happened? All that I wish lotion. I could cut See my that? screen See off. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. No, no, not because of that. Okay. He, nah. I don't know. He just went. His mom, he's he's with the mom a lot and stuff like that. I don't fool with oh, him. Oh, so I agree. You know, them baby moms is hell. I know so your pain. Jesus, I know your so pain. So I told her I can't get attached to him because they so wishy-washy. So I don't get into the middle of that. So the little girl, I'm more attached to her. Mm-hmm. So, and she's not a crybaby. She's 18 months now, 19 months now. So. Okay. And that's just and she's that's older? Girl. That's my daughter's little girl. girl. Yeah. That, the little girl's yeah. my daughter's. My son had the boy. Is she older? No, she's she's 22. the younger one. No, 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 the the baby. The baby's eighteen months. So she's older. Mm-hmm. No, she's younger. She's younger. Okay, so he's two. two. You said two. I'm yeah, sorry. They're six, they're six months apart. You know I can't math. Yeah. Good. So you said one was two and said eighteen. I'm yeah, math good. I can't <laughs> math good. Yeah. I don't be mathing good. It's mathing ain't mathing. My mathing ain't mathing good. <laughs> 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 Where's my that crayons, then? I want to eat my crayons. Mm. Go ahead. <laughs> I, didn't have, I didn't have nothing, but no, I don't watch them. Mm. I don't watch kids like that all the time. So. Mm. Heavy duty, when you start pumping out the grandkids, you watching them? Because uh, you got I, girls, I, man, I so. Them. Yeah. What if they say, so if they say, Poppy, I need you to watch, you know, your little grandbaby. Is a little girl look just like you? Damn, that's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't say that. Both of your daughters are adorable, man. They look like you. Thank God. Uh, yeah, but I don't know who she, who, who they're gonna marry, so uh, you never know. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, I think I'll give them a four week year. You know, stretch it however you want. Instead of two weeks, I do four weeks. Oh, but I thought I'm you said four to weeks like, to a year. I'm like, off any time in. You know, yeah. don't be jumping off. You know, I like to walk naked in my house. You know, whenever I get out of the C block, I'm always naked. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, oh man! Like, don't bring no babies in here without announcements. Mm. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, because my kids are like, what, yeah. what about the what, what about the youngin over here? Ask her. Yeah. Oh yeah. What was the question? She looked like she about to drop all the kids off. <laughs> <laughs> she might go to Vegas. <laughs> I'll be back I don't know, days. man. A couple of days, be two weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> now this one got kind of a, a bit of a motherly instinct to her, so. Yeah. So. I've been raising kids. Yeah, so. Yeah, you're probably tired of it. You like I'm out. Mm, good point. Mm. Miss good in her villain stage. People keep them. They're not hers. So uh, it'll be a difference when they're yours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. They, 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 they won't go that. home. Right. <laughs> they home like, already. Dang, this is home. <laughs> I, do, I do like to give kids back to. Yeah. Right. I do mm-hmm. like the name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. If I had a kid, um, yeah, I'm dropping them off all the time. <laughs> wow. Especially if I'm young. Like if I'm still young. Like, like obviously, nine months from now. Nine months. Oh, t- <laughs> <laughs> oh, that brings up a good one. Hey, I was having a conversation. With, tell them what's really old. Tell them the age you told me what's considered really old to you. Like, 27. I'm not having a kid. <laughs> That's just too old. Michelle Camp. <laughs> That's too old. Sorry. That's just too old to have a kid. <laughs> Hey, oh my God. I hit my head on the microphone when she said that. It's just too, I can't, I can't. I feel like at 27, I'm not going to want a baby in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> oh, no, it's some numbers. <laughs> that shit hurt my feelings, really. <laughs> oh, it hurt my feelings, but it's almost like, damn. I 
Yeah. Yeah. I would say 30, maybe because you're a little more experienced, you're a little more, should be more stable, but 27, that's it? Like, no, just that 27 is old. That's the cut off. Right, that's what I'm saying. You like, not the, it. oh, I think I'll start at 27. Like, 27, right. yeah, so it's over with. Want to because, so you'd rather be with a baby doing your adolescent years? No, I'm saying, like, around 24, I could see myself having a kid. Like, 27, 30, 24 is around a good number. It's crazy. Really yeah, you know how the, you know how them kids yeah. talk when they come out when you're 35. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nobody. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You, you don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, do you want to have a child married or unmarried? What does um, matter? I feel like if I have like a significant other, and then I'm like, I yeah. know they're the one, and I feel comfortable having like a kid outside of marriage. Then maybe, but um, I want to be married. So I'm going to have a kid. That sounds, that, that sounds cute. All right. All right. So on that note, no other questions, uh-uh. comments? Uh-uh. Okay. So officially, we're going to get ready to get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been King Bear in the building. Michelle K. Pretty P. Jumped him again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do it again. Do it over. Do it over. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy duty always goes after Michelle Gay, but that's all right. But you pretty, so. Hmm. <laughs> okay. This episode has me like heavy duty cutie. You done ruined his no outro. No more that. <laughs> he crying. <laughs> you don't hurt his feelings. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, you have a good one. We're going to see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.